Hey, if you guys ever wanted to install a weatherproof uh, cover for your outdoor electrical outlet, stay with me in this video. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it and how you guys can do it yourself. It's pretty easy, let's get at it. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dealing It Yourself. If it's your first time here, welcome of course. All my long time subscribers, you guys know the drill, welcome back. All right guys, today I'm going to be installing a new outdoor receptacle and I want to put a weatherproof box on it. So I've decided why not take the time to show you guys how to do this yourself. So if you guys have an outdoor receptacle with just maybe like an old cover or if you have one of these and they're deteriorated and you want to replace it, in this video, you can stay with me. I'll show you exactly how to do it depending on what scenario you have. Either way, it's going to be an easy fix and we should be able to knock this thing out pretty quickly. As always, everything that I use in the video, I'm gonna leave in the links in the description so you guys can um, find it if you guys need it. And I'm gonna split the video into two sections. The first section, I'm going to actually be showing you guys how to install the outlet. Um, and I'm gonna do a variation for this outlet where I'm going to have uh, split the outlet in two where the top portion is gonna be on a timer and the second portion is gonna be always and the, and the bottom portion is going to be always hot all right so i'll show you guys how to do that as well and that will cover the wiring and the installation of the outlet if you have an existing outlet already and you just want to install the cover i'm going to put that at the second part of the video so if that's what you're here for you can just jump directly to that portion and i'll show you the um, enclosure that i use and where you can get it and of course how to install it all right without further ado let's jump into this and i'll show you guys how to do it all right, first things first, let's remove the cover that's on the existing box. Loosen the two screws that are there, take them out. Once you got the plate taken off your box, you wanna go ahead and remove all the cables. Make sure that you take your time and take them out because you're not sure which ones are hot, which ones are not. All right, now that you have all your wires out, uh, you can see here I have a green wire, which is my ground, white wire, which is my neutral, and here I have a black and a blue wire. Now, where this is coming from, uh, what I have is I actually have an outdoor timer that's connected to one of these wires. I'm not sure which one it is. In order for me to figure out which one was which, I turned off my timer so I know that one of these wires should be live and one should be dead. So I test this here, that one is dead. This one here is live. So I know that this is my always hot wire and this is the wire that's connected to my timer. All right, so before we continue, always we wanna play safe. Let's go ahead, turn the power off to our breaker. Now that the breaker is off, I can test it again. This one is dead and this one is also dead. So now I, have, I know I have no power in this box here, so I'm good to go to work on my uh, wires. Also, you can see I have two extra wires in here. Um, this one is it's all capped off. Basically what it is, is it's an extra wire that's running down this conduit here um, in case I ever need wires in the future. So for now they're not connected, so they're dead, so don't worry about them. So what you're looking for is your neutral, your ground, and your two hot first wires. Thing. One of the things I want to do first is I want to do a pigtail from each one of my wires. One of the things to let you know is in the future, I'm gonna be running down this conduit and going to another box behind my pool, which is gonna be controlled as well. So I want to be able to put um, some connectors in here. That way I can run wires in the future through this conduit down uh, and over to the new box. But for now, let's focus on what we got here. Let's do this. So the first thing I want to do now is I'm going to I'm going to strip all my wires and then I'm going to connect them into my Wego outlets. If you guys don't know what these are, these are pretty awesome. Um, they're, I use them instead of wire nuts now. That way I know I have a good connection. So I'm going to connect one here and then repeat the process for all my other wires. Once I have all my Wagyu connectors connected, I'm gonna go ahead and make short pigtails um, for each color, and I'm gonna change this color. I don't like the blue. I'm gonna end up using a red, so I know that the red is going to be my uh, timer, and the black is gonna be my always hot. So we'll go ahead and strip uh, like six inch long pigtails for each color, put them in, and then we'll tuck everything away in the box. Once you got all your pigtails, you can go ahead and put them in each one, each one corresponding to the requisite color. So I'm gonna put my white here for my neutrals 
you can tug on them to make sure that they're all in firm and as you can see they're all in good so we'll do the white for the neutral uh, green for the ground give it a tug with black we're going to go back with black make sure that it's all the way through and seated as you can see here Black is good, and for the blue, I'm going to go with red. Once again, once it's all the way in, it's nice and snug. Once that's done, we can go ahead and tuck our wires as neatly as we can back into our box, just leaving the pigtails so that we can make the connection to our outlet. All right, once we have all our wires, we're ready to go. Now that I'm ready, I can wire up my outlet. What you want to do first is, like I said, I'm going to be using the top receptacle for my timer and the bottom receptacle is going to be for my always hot. So what needs to happen is I need to connect my red wire here, which is coming from my timer, which is on the blue line, and my black wire is going to go here. But in order for it to work, I got to break off this tab right here. Sometimes these can be a pain, but if you figure it out, you'll get it. So what you want to do is wiggle it back and forth until the tab breaks. What you want to do is make sure you wiggle it back and forth enough until the tab completely separates like that. And once you have it broken, you can see that there's no connection between this top and the bottom, between the bottom and the top. And that's exactly what you want. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and connect all our wires. For those of you that don't know, the gold terminals are going to be your hot side, the silver terminals are going to be your neutral side, and this is where your ground is going to be connected. Now, in order to connect these, all we need to do is create a J-hook on each one. And like I said, the red is going to be on the top screw. Now let's go ahead and connect our red wire to our top. Make sure it's nice and snug. You can go ahead, connect our black wire to the bottom terminal. We can go ahead and connect our neutral wire. Remember, when you're connecting your wires, you want to connect it in a clockwise manner so that once you're tightening down your screws, it brings the wire in and tightens it up. You don't want it to loosen the wire as you're tightening. Connect on our neutral and last but not least we connect on our ground. Once we have all our wires connected we can go ahead put them back inside our box. Once we have all our wires connected I want to make sure the orientation is right. The red is going to be on the top so I want to orient all my wires this way. Then you can go ahead and put all your wires back inside the box. Once you got everything back in the box, you can go ahead and start catching your screws. You don't want to tighten it all the way down because we're going to have to put the weatherproof box back on. So what you want to do is just catch your screws, put them like halfway on the top and on the bottom. Once you have them connected, you want to be able to push back your receptacle as far back as you can and leave the screws out like this. Now, if you've made it this far, and you've, you just want to replace your, if you made this far and you just want to replace an old box, what you want to do is back out your screws like this, leaving your receptacle pushed back against the box. Next thing you want to do is get your weatherproof case. Now mine has a bunch of fittings in here for light switches. It also comes with a bunch of screws, which we don't need in this case. And it also comes with an adapter plate. Now here, mine has a Decora style outlet but this is the old style um, but this is a regular style duplex outlet so what you want to do is you want to pop out this tab and replace it with this tab so the way they pop out is they just press and they're held by clips you can just pop them out and put in a new one and it should just snap back into place 
if it's a little bit hard, you can press it from the back. There you go. And then once you got it, they'll, you'll hear them all snap in and that's it. Now, once it's locked in in place, you can see on the back here, there are two holes. What you want to do is you're going to line up these holes with the head of your screws and then you're going to slide it across till it slots into the hole. And once it's in the hole, you're going to go ahead and tighten it down and that will compress this uh, gasket against the edge of your box here, creating a waterproof seal. One of the cool things is, is that these boxes are interchangeable. So mine is in a vertical uh, manner, but you can also mount it in a horizontal manner. And the only difference is you'll see a hinge pin right here. All you need to do is take a screwdriver, push the pin out, uh, take it out, and then slide it into this hole here on this side, and then you'll be able to hinge it in a horizontal manner. All right, so that's how you switch it. So mine is vertical, so we're gonna keep it vertical. And also, because it's vertical, I wanna be able to, um, once I have it closed, if I have anything plugged in, I want it to still be able to be used. So they have, the way they have it here, they have these tabs at the bottom and at the side, depending on whether it's horizontal or vertical. You just pull this tab out and leave it like that. And then we can go ahead and mount our box. Once you have it in place, you can go ahead and tighten your screws down. Do them one at a time. Uh, don't over tighten it. You just want to make sure that it's snug and that, the, and that the seal is tight around the box. If you squeeze it too hard, these are plastic so it can snap. You just want to make sure that the screw is all the way through and it's tight on the box and that the gasket is compressed. Once you're done and you've tightened up all your screws, the only thing left to do now is to test your outlets. The only thing left to do now is to test the circuits. I'm gonna test the bottom circuit first, which should be my always hot. Go ahead, we can go ahead now, turn on your breaker. Once you turn on the breaker, you can see that the outlet is live and everything is wired up correctly. Next thing we wanna do is go ahead and test the top circuit for the timer. And as you can see, it's off right now. But once I turn on my timer, you can see the timer turns on and the outlet comes on as well and everything is wired up correctly. Once I know that everything is wired up correctly, the next thing, the only thing left for me to do is to put on the cover. I took it off so that you guys could see. And like he said, it just, it's just a pin that goes in. Once you line up the holes, you just push the pin in, boom. And your box is now hinged from the top. And with that, we're done. All right guys, welcome back. That wasn't too bad. We got our waterproof enclosure installed outside. So now I'm able to control the top outlet with my timer and the bottom outlet is always hot. So if I ever have anything plugged in and I need outside lights or whatever, I'll be able to have it no problem. So if you guys ever want to tackle a project like this, you know, now you know exactly what to do. Uh, replacing these things are pretty easy. Pretty much all you need to do is replace the faceplate, um, the adapter that fits the outlet that you have. Make sure the screws are extended out a little bit, slide the box on, tighten them up, and that's it. The only challenge you may have is whether you want it vertical or horizontal. Apart from that, that's it, guys. So this is a, definitely a project that you guys can tackle yourself, and hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends. Um, and as always, until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next DIY video. Later.